Hey guys, tell me if you've ever had this experience. You go out, you spend a ton of money on a couple of marketing campaigns, you get your phone to start ringing, you start going on appointments, and after all of that, you finally ink a deal with a motivated seller. You then send your contract over to your title company, everything's looking great. But a couple of weeks later, you get a call from your seller who's decided that he's no longer interested in selling his house to you. Meanwhile, you've secured funding if you've needed it. You spent all of this time and energy with things like inspections and that never ending due diligence checklist. Does that sound familiar? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you are doing wrong, why this is happening to you, and precisely how to avoid this in the future, and even how to stop this madness in its tracks. This video starts in three, two, one. Welcome to Let's Talk Subject 2. I'm your host, Jeff Kaufman. And before we get started, if you would, please take 10 seconds, go down and click the subscribe button below. And then after that, hit the bell to get notified every time I publish a new video to this channel. All right, so you're losing deals because of flaky sellers. Don't feel bad, it happens to all of us. What I wanna do is I wanna examine the number one reason why real estate investors are losing their deals. Are you ready for this? Here it comes. There is one reason why your sellers are backing out on you. And that reason is communication. That's right, you're losing deals because of communication, or rather the lack thereof. See, a lot of real estate investors stop following up before the ink even dries on that shiny new contract they just signed. And so what happens? They stop communicating with their sellers. This is a huge mistake. Ask me how I've learned this. You have got to stay in front of your sellers all the way up to the closing table. The number one reasons for sellers backing out on you is because they have not heard from you, period. If your seller hasn't heard from you, you must change your follow-up habits immediately. Today, you are in luck. I'm going to show you just one of my many follow-up systems that I employ to keep my seller happy and drive my deals to the closing table. Let's go ahead and jump over to the computer. All right, here we are on my computer, and what I have pulled up in front of me here is my REI Blackbook account. Now, this will work with any CRM that you choose. And so what I do here is I am automating my follow-up. I've tried to take every aspect of follow-up and make this system do the work for me. So what I'm gonna show you is just one of my follow-up systems that I use after I've signed a deal. Now, I run several of these systems in conjunction with one another every time I ink a deal. And what these do for me is they keep my seller engaged without me actually having to pick up the phone and call that seller. So let's jump in here. Like I said, you can use any CRM that you choose. There are plenty of them out there. I prefer REI Blackbook because it is super simple to set these things up. And these guys have really built this thing right. I am a huge fan of this system. And if you're looking for a CRM, I highly advise that you give these guys a really hard look. They have got some fantastic stuff coming out. I've been with REI Blackbook for several years now, and I have seen them grow from kind of a, I won't say fledgling company, but I've seen their technology grow threefold since I've been with them. I mean, it's just fantastic. What I've got in front of me is a follow-up plan. And what this is, is my 14-day closing post-contract follow-up plan. So if I've got a property under contract and it's going to close in 14 days, this is the workflow that I'm going to fire off for that seller. So let's just kind of jump through this. You can do this with so many different things. This happens to be set up to keep the seller informed of where we are in the title search process. So that's all that this flow does. Now, like I said, I have other flows that run in conjunction with this. I have my entire due diligence checklist set up as workflows inside REI Blackbook so that not only can I get notified of the items that need to be done on that checklist, I can also let my seller know exactly where I'm at in this whole buying process. So really quickly, I'm gonna jump through here and if you've never been inside REI Blackbook, it's okay, because I just wanna give you the basic concept here so that you can go out and build this in whatever you're using. So let's jump into this. The first thing I would do, let's say somebody contacts me or they fill out a web form on my website. What I'm gonna do, as soon as that submit button is clicked, I'm gonna go ahead and go through my normal process of you know, calling that seller back, going through my seller questionnaire, 
getting all the information, going on that appointment, and coming back to my office with a freshly signed contract. And just as soon as I send that contract to the title company so that they can start the title search on this deal, after I send that contract to them, I come back into REI Blackbook and I fire off this exact workflow. And here's what it looks like. As soon as I fire this workflow off, what it's gonna do, we'll just walk you through the steps. What it's gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and tag this contact record and these tags are just going to let me know what I've done or where, where kind of where the status of this deal is. And so this tag, contract submitted to title company, is going to be applied to this contact record. As is, this title work has not been ordered. The title work hasn't been ordered because I just literally just sent them the, uh, the contract to start the title work on it. So I know it's not been ordered. So I go ahead and I tag this contact with both of these tags. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna inject a delay in here of 30 minutes. And I do that because just in case something happened with the transmission of that contract, I wanna be able to go out and either resend it or, uh, or fix any mistakes that were made before I go and send out this text reply to my seller. And basically I'm just telling my seller in this text reply, hey, you know, I've submitted the contract to my title company. It usually takes them a few days to get back with us. It's going to be dependent upon the response time of, of uh, any lien holders or anything like that. And here's the contact information for my closer. Here's her name, her number, and her email address. And then from there, I'm going to delay this two days. And then I'm going to send myself, you can see I delayed it two days here. And then I'm going to send myself a notification that's going to tell me, and I'm going to text this to myself. It's going to tell me to go out and check if title work has been ordered for said address and it puts the phone number right here in the notification so then what i do is if i get a hold of my title company and they tell me that yes the title work's been ordered i'm going to go back into this contact record and i'm going to apply this tag that's called title work has been ordered if it has already been ordered and it's already come back which i kind of doubt after two days i'm going to go back and apply this tag called title work completed and this is actually short code. I'm not sure if you can see that very well, but it is a shortcut or a link that sends me directly into the contact record. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send myself a text notification. And then immediately after that, I'm going to send a text reply out to my seller. This is going to be, you know, the second touch after that initial touch. So again, this is just me reaching out. Hey, I'm not, you know, I'm not some phantom guy out in the ether somewhere that just has your house under contract. Uh, you know, I'm actually going through with this. I'm, I'm doing my due diligence and I'm doing my part. And essentially this text reply just says, we haven't heard whether or not title work's been ordered on 123 Main Street yet. We're following up today. Just want to keep you in the loop. And that's really all you have to do here. You don't have to make this anything special. You're just reaching out and letting them know that, you know, they're human beings and they're not getting lost in all the shuffle. So that is it. It's a very, very simple message. And moving on. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to delay this for two days. And then here's where it gets really, really interesting with REI Blackbook. REI Blackbook has this module called Smart Routing. And what it'll allow me to do is to inject branches into this module. And each one of these branches, what it's going to do, it's going to take a look at that contact record and if the filters that are applied to that contact record are inside this particular branch, it's gonna fire off a series of events like I have here. Now, if you remember, if we go back up here and we go in and we apply this tag that says title work has been ordered, you can see now, if I go back down to this branch, there is a branch for title work ordered but it's not returned. And that's essentially what, what this means. It's been ordered, title work has been ordered, uh, but we don't yet have our results back. And so that would apply to branch two here. If the title work has been completed, then it's gonna follow branch three. And I have this set up to use tags. So, you know, if I tag it with title work has been ordered here, or if I tag it with title work completed, you can go down and you can see the corresponding tags here. 
And so what's going to happen is we're going to fire off this campaign and REI Blackbook is just going to follow this step by step by step. And so once it hits this smart routing module, uh, it's going to go back and look at the contact record. And if that contact record has any of these tags applied, it's going to follow that branch. So let's just stick with uh, let's just stick with branch one. Let's just say that the title work has not yet been ordered. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to go out and I'm going to send myself a notification. And this is a second check for title work on 123 Main Street. Again, it's the same identical notification as above. It's, it gets sent directly to my cell phone, except I need to know how many times this notification has been sent to me. So this would say, I would say that this was the second check. And again, it's the same exact, uh, same exact message other than second check for title work for 123 Main Street. So it's, again, it's going to be sent to my cell phone. Immediately, I'm going to reply, send a text reply out to my seller again. Hey, we're following up with the title company again today on title work, just FYI. That's it. Very simple touch. We're going to go and we're going to wait two more days again. And let's say that this time the title work, I do call my title company and the title work has been ordered, but it's not yet been returned to us. We, we don't have the results of that title search back yet. So I would then, after I contacted my title company here, I would go back and I would tag this contact with title work has been ordered. And then when REI Black Book gets down to this step, it's going to see, oh, wait a minute, this, this tag matches. So we're going to follow branch two here. Title work has been ordered and now we're waiting for it. So what I do in the next step is I go ahead and I remove this tag that was previously being used. And then I send a text to my seller, FYI, hey, my title company uh, ordered the title search on the house. Now we just have to wait for the results. So then let's say our title work is completed. And through this notification, we've contacted our title company. And now we can tag our title work as completed. So now that our title work has been tagged completed, we're going to go ahead and wait another two days uh, this is going to give us a couple of days to examine this title, but now REI Blackbook sees that this tag, this title work complete tag has been applied. So now what REI Blackbook is going to do is it's going to follow this branch and it's going to come down to uh, the next step and it's going to remove that previous tag that we were using. And then it's going to send a message out to my seller. Hello, John, we have title search results back. We'll be going over them for the next few days. We'll reach out if we have any questions. Thanks. And that's going to be the end of this flow. Now, I'm not showing all of this to you because I want you to get super technical and, you know, get crazy with all this stuff. The point is, if you don't have a system like this, that's okay. But what you have to implement into your business is some kind of follow-up plan, some kind of way of staying in touch with your sellers so that they don't just go dark on you and end up canceling that contract and selling that house to somebody else. So if you are looking for a way to manage contacts and automate your follow-up, I highly recommend you go check out REI Blackbook. I have an affiliate link in the description below. I can save you the $997 licensing fee for REI Blackbook. So it's very little upfront cost at all. You don't have to use this. Obviously, there are plenty of other tools out there that you can use. It's just this one is uh, so robust. The uptime is insane. The support is fantastic. And I just can't say enough about this platform. I've, Like I said, I've seen them come from very humble beginnings. I can just tell you that the, the wow factor is insane. Okay, guys, thanks so much for joining me here on Let's Talk Subject 2. If you like this video, go ahead and click the like button. And if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button as well. Don't forget to check out my other videos on the channel. Also check out my website at sub2empire.com. All of the links related to this video can be found in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.